And as we promised, it's a special edition of Rauka. It is a political edition. And we get to host the running mates. And hopefully next Sunday we'll have more running mates. And the other Sunday, hopefully all the running mates will get to come here. And uh, we'll get to ask them questions on the platform of the church. And so if you have any question, keep SMSing 2442. Thanks for the SMS is already coming in. And today... We have the privilege and the honor of hosting uh, mm -hmm. Ole Kiap is running mate, Winnie. Karibu sana. Asante. Uko salama bwana sifiwe. Amen. And uh, Joyce, if you can introduce our next guest. Yes, right here we also have Peter Kenneth, better known as PK's candidate, and it is Ronnie Osumba. Asante sana for joining Thank us you. on the show. Thank you for the invite. Karibu. Sawa, sawa, sawa. Apa ha, mambo ni, we are relaxed. Me kutulia. Eh, kutulia apa. Kuna stress, relax. Hey, apa, where Jesus says things are hamna shida. <laughs> so, so, so Winnie, you can relax. We're not going to agree so much. I'm but good. let's start with you, Madam Winnie. Mm -hmm. Who is Winnie? Ah, oh, Winnie. Alizaliwa wapi? Uh -huh. Akaenda shule wapi? Primary, high school, ulienda campus? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey. My name is Winnie. Yes. I come from Meru. Hey, Meru wapi? Meru, Meru, uko maua. Maua? Flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything yeah. here is flowers. Wow. <laughs> I hear that town has very many 50 bobs because everyone deals with 50 bobs. Uko. Na mirani mingi sana. Yeah, hata sasa hata hiyo ndiyo story uko. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So where did you go to primary school? I went to primary school in Maua, primary. Uh -huh. Went to secondary school in Maua, girls. Yes. Then moved from there all the way to Nyanza. Yes. Assumed girls high school. Okay. Mm. From my high school. <laughs> all right. Yeah? Hey. So I became a Luo from Ameru to a Luo. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak some Luo? Did you learn some Luo? Actually, I can. Hey, Dwende. I went to Jewish. As Koro. As <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, I went to university. Uh -huh. up, 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 uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. political science uh -huh. and uh, administration. All right. Business administration. Nikiuliza kifamilia umeonekaniwa watoto? Ah, niko na watoto wengi. Niko na watoto tano. Uh -huh. wow. Na yuko? Uh -huh. Ulionekaniwa ni mwaka gani? Ah, samani sana sasa. Eh, uh -huh. uh, miaka mingi. Hey, imepita. Uh -huh. Anakuona utamwambia nini? Uh, Nitamwambia namupenda. Ah, mara hiyo. Tume salamu. Natuma zote kwa watu wote wananijua. All right, we'll get back to you and what your uh, husband thought uh, about your running. Uh -huh. But on to you Ronnie, who is Ronnie Osumba? Um you know, I'm beginning to quite like that question, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the, the other, the, you know, people are like, who's Ronnie? Who's yeah. Winnie? You know, oh, so your child. You know, I'm, 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 I'm Kenyan, born and bred in uh, Kibira. Kibich, apa? Kibich, apa, mdani. Mdani, mdani, olimo, pandeza down. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was born and bred there. Uh -huh. Went to school first to Moy Avenue. Primary? In Tao, yeah. Uh -huh. And then, uh, Ulikuwa tembea ma, ma I, excuse me, Ulikuwa Nyayo bus. Okay, Nyayo wow. bus. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh -huh. uh, I, th I think your tubo because no masana. So, my <laughs> folks decided to transfer me to Olympic Primary okay. School. Just next then, Yeah, and mm -hmm. of course, it was the uh, famous national, uh, national school. Mm -hmm. So, okay, and Auko. Uh, did my exams. Mm -hmm. I went to Strehe, but before that, actually, I, I was actually called to highway. Okay. Secondary mm -hmm. school. Mm. And my MZ told me, a guy, uh -huh. there's no way. You're going to <laughs> highway. Uko. So I went to <laughs> see Starry. Griffin. I told him, boss, uh -huh. by the way, you either uh, admit me uh -huh. or I'm not going back home. Okay. There's a way. So uh, we Kakuama managed. Kofi well, I was in the, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was. Um, I was taken into Stray eventually, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, when I finished Stray, went to Mo University mm -hmm. in Eldoret, Kesses. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> which dorm were you in? I was in Block D. Block D. D thirty six, and then I uh, upgraded to F eight. Okay. Um, what were you studying there? I was studying uh, business management. Okay. Uh, marketing option. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then left there, uh, went to uh, join the job market. All right. Nilionekaniwa yeah. watoto? Nilionekaniwa sawa sawa. Six years ago. Yes. Watoto ni wawili. Uh -huh. Beautiful princess called Hadassah. Yes. 
and uh, a five month old boy called oh. Eli. Eli, yes. wow, yeah. excellent. Remember, yeah. if you have any questions for our guests, please SMS 2442 is the SMS line. You can also get onto our Facebook page, we have a post there. And uh, any question you'd want to ask them as a Christian or even as a Kenyan citizen, uh, more so in regards to their, you know, running, uh, you know, being them being running mates, uh, please go ahead. But Joyce. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going to delve into a bit of the politics now. And uh, the first question is directed to both of you. Uh, we'll start with you, Winnie. Uh, what attracts you to Ole Kiapi's uh, presidential bid? What is it about him that just makes you feel, yes, this is the man I want to stand behind as his running mate? Uh, first and foremost, I... I really like Ole Kiapi mm -hmm. because you can't be with somebody you don't like. That's true. I like him a lot, especially because he is a Christian, mm -hmm. he's born again, mm -hmm. he stands for what he talks about, mm -hmm. he's truthful, mm -hmm. and uh, I, uh, as a person, I like people who keep their word. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ole Kiapi and the war of RMBK, mm -hmm. they are people who are grounded mm -hmm. on Christian values. Mm -hmm. And so that's attracted me to him and the whole part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, that talks about then him as a person and even just humanizing him for the rest of us. So maybe you could tell us like why you think he would be the best candidate, given all those qualities you've mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, maybe in terms of directing it towards uh, specific things that you think he might be able to achieve. Okay, um, Ole Kiapi has worked a lot in this country. Mm -hmm. He has been a PS for three ministries, Ministry of Environment, uh, Health, where I actually I met him, mm -hmm. because I also do business and I used to supply medical equipment, or I rather do the same. Okay. And uh, I got to know him by the way he was working in that ministry. It's not an easy ministry, mm -hmm. because health is usually you know, hard, yes, and especially sensitive. when you have to deal with so many hospitals, so mm -hmm. many people, little equipment, little money to equip all those hospitals. So the way he was uh, managing mm -hmm. the ministry then mm. impressed me because mm. uh, he was able to cut down quite a lot because I was also inside the, uh, um, at that time I used to work for Kepsa. Mm. So we were also uh, working together mm -hmm. in, the, in the same ministry especially in accounting of uh, the equipment and what have you. And he was able to cut a lot of expenses mm. by buying, not cheap, but uh, able to negotiate uh, to get better equipment for hospitals. And the, I could see he was really interested in these hospitals being well equipped. So really, that impressed me. Mm -hmm. Then when I, we moved to the Ministry of Education, I could see also he did quite a lot. Mm. And, uh, you know, when you have to wear a person by what he does. Mm. So uh, going back to what he was doing, and also his credentials, he's, uh, he's a professor, and uh, he's um, been a teacher. So all this shows me that if he is given a bigger role, you will mm. be able to do better than he has been doing before. Okay. And then the other thing which uh, impressed me about uh, Ole Kiapi, he is also a family man. Mm. I've seen his wife, I've met his wife, I've met his children. And you see that leadership goes further than just the, the media, the political leadership. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th th that is something I really admire about Ole mm -hmm. Another thing which I admire about Ole Kiapi is so human. Mm -hmm. We sit in the office with every Bondos RMBK members. And even when things are so hard, you don't have enough money, to go for, for, for rallies, the media has um, kind of given you a blackout. It still comes out and tells you, don't worry, everything will be okay because God is still in control of mm. this. It's not by human that you do all this. Mm. Do your part as a human mm. and then leave the rest to God. Mm -hmm. And you know, that keeps everybody going on mm -hmm. even when you feel down. Mm -hmm. So he is a man of God and he's a man who believes in the higher power mm -hmm. before the, the human power. Mm -hmm. with very few people are educated that much know God. Mm. Or if they know God, it's so artificial. Mm. It's so, you know, it's, it's so cosmetic. So I feel, and I've worked with them, and I feel that if Kenya, if Kenya gives him a chance, you change this country. All right. Very well said. Mm. All right, coming to you, Ronnie. Uh, allow me to call you Winnie and Ronnie. <laughs> uh, sure. I'm feeling, I'm feeling 
to make me more at home. <laughs> so you say it is... Uh, yeah, it's relaxed, it's relaxed. relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. pressure. <laughs> so, uh, okay, Next time so you'll be calling us uh, either Mrs. or Mrs. Oh, Mr. Oh, oh, Mr. or Madam Vice President <laughs> yeah, yeah. or Mr. Okay. So. You allow us to do Raukat Station. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. on location. Oh. That will be the first thing. In fact, not state house. Uh, they call uh, Karen. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Marie, you're your official resident. Official. Oh, you're your official Shapa resident. I hope there's a church there, Ronnie. There's uh, a... Have you been that. there? Inside the uh, compound? No, uh, of course I haven't. I think we better go and have a look. <laughs> Anyway, so coming back to you, Ronnie, um, what attracts you to Peter Kenneth's campaign? And maybe what are three things that you feel he would, Kenyans should vote him in for, that you think that he would be able to implement those things for Kenyans? Mm -hmm. I've known Peter Kenneth for a while. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and one of the things I can vouch for is that he is a man who keeps his promise. Mm. that he never promises that which he cannot deliver. Um, and he is a man of performance. We share common values. We went to the same school. We have pretty much the same background. You know, came from uh, not very well off families, um, struggled through, through, through life, um, had to create our own, had to pursue um, our dreams and our visions mm -hmm. and have been willing to pay the price for it and this is one of the things that um, I love about this man that mm -hmm. he has a vision he has a very clear vision for this nation mm -hmm. and you see you know the good book tells us my people perish because well, of lack of a vision mm -hmm. and and I think that is why Kenya is stuck mm -hmm. where we are today because we have um, leaders who are very short-sighted mm -hmm. are dealing with the issues of now are very individualistic and have completely lost focus mm -hmm. on what is Kenyan mm -hmm. and what is good for Kenya. Mm -hmm. Now Peter is very clear about that. He understands the problems of this country. He is very very clear on how we need to get out of those problems. He provides solutions that are workable. The other thing about him is he is not um, he doesn't have, he doesn't go for razzmatazz. So he is not uh, unleashing 12, 15 point uh, <laughs> manifestos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, he's saying, no, Kenya's problems are simple. Mm -hmm. We have two main problems mm -hmm. food insecurity, we have a hungry nation, uh -huh. and job uh, uh, unemployment yes. uh, for, 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 for Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And the unemployment rate is completely going out of uh, mm -hmm. control. And he says, we need to fix those. And he says, for us to fix those, we only need to deal with five things. Sort security so that Kenyans can be able to be free to walk anywhere in this country. Mm -hmm. Fix the infrastructure, both roads, uh, energy, mm -hmm. and, and telecommunications, mm -hmm. so that people can be able to communicate and transact business. Mm -hmm. Fix healthcare, mm -hmm. because we are a sick nation. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of people, for example, being sent from Wajir, mm -hmm. being uh, uh, referred but to Kenyatta. Kenyatta. You know, I mean, it's, it's a bit ridiculous. So mm -hmm. take healthcare to the people, mm -hmm. fix education, because we need to sort out um, the quality of education. I mean, after the free primary education was mm. introduced, we have millions of guys going through the going system. Through the system. Mm, that's true. But the quality of that system is stretched. One of the things that makes it me extremely sad is my school, Olympic primary school, that used to be a shining torch yes. mm. for this country, has completely disappeared from the national radar. Mm. I mean, the results that were released just the other day. You remember those days when mm. we all used to celebrate you Olympic? Know, the in fact used to be <laughs> they were already stationed at <laughs> Olympic yeah. primary school. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, they don't feature mm. because of the quality, yeah. because the resources at the school got strained. Mm. We need to fix these things. Mm -hmm. And he is very clear on how we need to fix them. So, I mean, those are some of the things that make me attracted to uh, mm -hmm. uh, Peter okay. Kenneth okay. And, and, and have not just attracted but have tossed my heart into the ring to stand by him mm -hmm. and support him in running government should he win. Okay. All right. Well, we need to take a, a break for the top of the hour, but indeed we are mm -hmm. in studio with Winnie Kaburu Kinyua and Ronnie Osumba, uh, running mates in the coming elections for Ole Kiapi and for Peter Kenneth, respectively. And so do stay tuned. Yep, do stay tuned. And what you need to do is uh, keep your SMSs coming in. Uh, 2442 is the SMS line. Our Facebook page too has a post. If you have any question for them, uh, we'll definitely get uh, asking them. 
them. Uh, and so we're asking, so where are the other running mates? Not to worry. We're going to have them uh, this coming Sundays. We're going to be as uh, you know impartial as possible. Yes. And uh, here goes. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll be back in a few. right there playing right here on citizen tv it is rauka the political edition and some of you could be watching and wondering why are you having politicians on the show you know as christians we are not of this world but we're in this world and the unfortunate thing we always turn a blind eye or a deaf ear and say ah we won't be involved in politics yet these are the same people who are going to govern us we need to know who are they and what's their relationship with God or who's God to them and in a, in a little bit we'll be asking those questions and most of our platform is as the church as Christians what questions will we have for them or do we have for them and most even as Kenyan citizens and as is, is we do have a Ronnie Osumba and Winnie Kaburu plus we'll be hosting the other uh, running mates soon and don't forget the presidential candidates will be on Kubamba later on today but on to you once again and maybe I'll start with Ronnie now who is God to you and what's your relationship with God? I mean, who's God to you in this whole journey more so? I'm a believer. Um, no. and, and, and God, sorry? When you say a believer, you know, <laughs> people say I'm a believer. <laughs> Who is, when you say a believer? I am born again. You're born again? Yes. yes. All right. And uh, God has provided me strength Yes. Uh, through this journey. Yes. I mean, it has been um, an interesting journey, let mm. me say, a journey of faith. Yes. But more so, um, I think Kenya needs God. Mm. Amen. That indeed, as Christians, we need to rise up and pray for this country. Mm. That we need to raise a standard mm. for this country because we have left our country mm -hmm. um, go down the wrong mm -hmm. path for t far too mm -hmm. long. We need um, two renaissances. One, we need a Joshua generation. Mm -hmm. A generation of young people who are ready to step up and take the mantle of leadership. Mm. We have to have that full transition from Moses to Joshua. Amen. Mm. Uh, and God is calling upon the Joshua's of this land to step up. Mm. But we also need Esther's. Mm. People who will stand up as citizens of this country to say that which I can do, I must do. Mm. Because if I don't do it, God will find uh, refuge for his people mm. from other sources All right. for such a time as now, this. Question, the church, I mean, and some people are saying, how do you bring uh, politics to Rauka? What, what do you think, as Christians, <laughs> what is our role in politics? I mean, because some of us say, you know, we'll just pray and do nothing about it. What's you know, we, 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 we can go philosophical about it and argue about church and state mm -hmm. and, and, and the separation of the two or the role of the two. Mm. Um, but the truth of the matter is that we are all humans mm. and we are all citizens one nation and one god mm. and we must all pull together towards building this country mm. um abraham lincoln was never known to be too much a man of faith mm -hmm. but when his history was written and his chronicles were written he actually emerged as having walked one of the most powerful journeys of faith in politics mm. that he 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 spoke to a higher being mm. whether it's, it was <laughs> whether you know it was yes. conscious or otherwise mm. but he spoke to a higher being mm. and he prayed every night mm. and he, even in his you know if you read his um, uh, second inauguration speech it actually sounds like a sermon. Mm. Yeah, sermon. so are you is that what you're saying you'll be doing as deputy <laughs> president you'll be seeking god praying every day Absolutely, absolutely. We must pray for our country, okay. and um, and we must also pray for the leadership. That's true. Because mm -hmm. we must not forget that leadership sometimes can be very heavy. That's yeah. true. Now, Winnie, mm -hmm. on to you. Who's God to you? What's your relationship with God? God is everything to me. Okay. Yeah, and God saved when I was very young. Uh -huh. I was only fifteen years old. All right. And all my life, I put God first. And, and in this journey of accepting mm -hmm. to be a running mate, how was it like for you? Actually, when I, because I'm the natu national treasurer of our party, mm -hmm. and uh, it was put to me that uh, the, they are looking for a running mate. And when my name was put as, as other names for, you know, to be, to be nominated, I asked them if I can go and pray. And I had to take at least almost a whole week 
I fasted for three days to ask God if this is the way mm. He wants me to be. Mm. There's nothing I do without asking God. Mm. And uh, I'm very comfortable because God made me feel that, yes, you, I'm going to use you as a vessel mm. for my people. Amen. Now, Ronnie, favorite verse. Yeah, I told you it's a very easy show. So, what, what is that what verse that it's, gets you going? It's too easy. I've already mentioned it. My daughter is called Hadassah. Yeah. So, you can imagine it comes from Esther. Esther, what does it say? 4.11, yeah. What does it say? <laughs> that, um, well, I'll paraphrase. Paraphrase you know, it. Exactly. But, you know, that when Mordecai uh -huh. was challenging Esther, yes. and, and, and Mordecai is telling Esther that, if you don't stand up mm. for God's people, yes. he will find other quarters mm. to rescue his people. Mm. Because who knows that you have been placed in the kingdom mm. for such a time as this. Wow. Amen. Yako, favorite verse or verse that gets you going? Ah, I love Psalms 23. Yes. All the time. Yes. Because that's where I am. When the world comes up, politics becomes too heavy. I still know I've got that shield. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, one of the questions that's coming in, Winnie, is how are you able to balance uh, being a mother, being a businesswoman, mm -hmm. and now being a politician? And how will you be able to carry that forward, even as if if you if you get the votes and end up in state mm -hmm. house? All my life, I've been working. Uh, you know, I'm so surprised about Kenyans when they want to separate mm -hmm. politics from everything else we do in life. I think in business you spend more time working than even in anything else. So really, being a mother is just like Kironi says, is part of, of life. He is a father, I'm a mother. My children know that I'm here, they are supporting me in everything. Mm -hmm. So politics is just a matter of delegating my business, which I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. and being in, in politics. Okay. And politics, I want to tell Kenyans, politics is part of life. Mm. Everything you breathe, the air you breathe is politics. Because politicians are the ones who decide everything you do. If there are taxes, if there is good transport, good security, good education, good health, it's all decided by politicians. So let's not demonize, demonize uh, mm. politics so much mm -hmm. that it becomes the worst thing on the face of earth. <laughs> it's part of, of everything you do. <laughs> Ronnie, mm. I'll ask you the same question because you appear to be uh, a very family-oriented guy and you even said that, I believe, uh, or she also mentioned that, Ole Kiapi is also a family guy. But even for you, you seem to be a very uh, strong family man and you even just mentioned that you have a five-month-old child. How will you be able to to balance that um, given that poli politics oftentimes is really about examples um, so that you're not an absentee father you know in the demands of politics how are you going to balance that I think the most important thing is to have uh, the support of the family um, and today I think my wife is my biggest supporter you know I was just telling Winnie Ali I don't get much time to watch the news mm. she does all the watching for me nowadays and you know wherever i am mm. she's texting me and she's oh. saying why aren't you guys on the mm. news or well yes. i thought mm. yeah 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 you, mm. you guys were going to baringo mm. we've just seen you in bomet mm. or whatever the case might be um but i think the most important thing is to get your support structure mm. family friends colleagues to support you mm -hmm. and to understand that these are times that calls mm. upon you to step up mm -hmm. There's something I call the, 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 wheel, the wheel of life. And at any one point in time, our wheels of life keep shifting. Mm -hmm. That there are some times when your focus is on the family and growing your family and building your family. Mm -hmm. That sometimes your focus shifts to establishing, you know, whether it is business practice mm -hmm. or your professional mm -hmm. uh, uh, career. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are times that you're called upon, like now, to mm -hmm. step up and respond to a national call of duty. Mm -hmm. And it is that wheel of life that you always need to ensure that you're keeping the balance. Mm -hmm. I read a book that said, you know, many times we struggle in life to reach the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we are so focused on reaching the top of the mountain that we forget that we were supposed to be climbing with the others, with our families, with our friends, mm -hmm. you know, with our colleagues. And when you get to the top of the mountain, finally, and you look back, you're all alone because mm -hmm. you left everybody else at the mm -hmm. bottom. So it's always important that even as we travel this journey of life, mm -hmm. you're always looking at the wheel of life and saying, where am I? What's the primary focus? 
what is the important thing in my life right now mm -hmm. and who are the people I should be carrying along with mm -hmm. me. So we find that balance and um, yeah, you know, when uh, even being president and deputy president is not an easy thing because you have to find perfect balance yes. while you're in office. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, balancing the interests of uh, different segments of the of the country, mm -hmm. uh, the different sectors, whether it is health, education. So it's always, life is always about finding the right balance. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, lots of questions are already coming in from our viewers. Uh, Kavita Nick here says something very interesting. He says, Kenyans have a tendency of voting against and not for. Uh, that's, let's twist the question then based on that and say, what, why should Kenyans, what is it that's going to be different about uh, the governments of either of you? Don't you even know? twist it. I mean, that, that, that's a perfect question mm -hmm. because we are always voting against something. Mm -hmm. But it's because the conversation, the national conversation is always against something. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to, for us to move as a country, and this is precisely why I was saying, that is lack of a vision mm. because we're not voting for something you're not voting for a vision mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we're always fighting something in our past okay mm -hmm. we are always stuck in our past mm -hmm. and it's time high time for the national conversation to progress mm -hmm. that we started voting for, for something mm -hmm. that we started voting for ourselves in fact right. let me just say that and i've said it before kenyans must be selfish we must vote yeah. for ourselves, for the things that matter to each and every one of us mm. as individuals. Not the but, past. Okay. Mm -hmm. but if we're, if we're to just take that though and say, uh, it's maybe perhaps it's because a lot of, in, in the past, mm. Kenyans have really been hurt and scalded really by our politicians. So the other question that's coming in then is given the voting for or against, why should Kenyans believe that you, your presidencies would be any different from the past? I think what has happened, as Sironi put it, is that uh, Kenyans have been disappointed because our leaders have disappointed mm -hmm. us. I have been disappointed by my leaders. And what has happened is that we have been, for the last five years, actually for longer than five years, we have been asking for a change. Mm -hmm. And when this change comes, change is always resistant because you don't know what you are going to see at mm -hmm. the end of the the, the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. And when this change comes, people are asking, yeah, this is this going to be better than what we have been having? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's why politics has been made to look dirty. Mm. Politics is really not dirty. It's what you make it. Mm. When people lie, people cheat, people kill, politics become dirty. Mm -hmm. But if you put lenders, and I believe the, the new crop of lenders, young people like, uh, like Ronnie, uh, women like me, who have got the heart of the people in this country, who are grounded in the faith and in the what to do right, values, okay? Because as a Christian, I've got the values which I stand for. Mm -hmm. I stand for in integrity. Mm -hmm. If you choose new leaders who are grounded, not necessarily those who are making a lot of noise, mm -hmm. who have got issues or, you know, uh, values which you admire, those are the leaders you choose. And I believe those leaders can uh, let you down. Mm -hmm. And in this time, I think I feel I should urge Kenyans to look for leaders who are grounded in the faith because Christians, Muslims, Hindus, all religions have got the values. Mm. And these values are good values. Mm. They are positive values. Mm. As he put it, when we look at the old leaders or people like uh, uh, Martin Luther King, mm. Uh, I mean, Lincoln Abraham, they were all lent by some values, mm -hmm. some belief in the Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit. You know, whatever name you want to put in God, he is still in God. Mm -hmm. So as a Christian, I have got my God and mm -hmm. my Jesus. I believe the Muslims and the Hindus, they have got whoever they believe in. But it's all usually positive in its own way. So these are the values which I'm saying. If you get a linda, who is grounded on that, you expect to get what is good. Mm -hmm. but so let the people sorry. not also become scared mm. that we are putting a new crop of people we don't know. Yes. Because everywhere you are, you are being asked, who is running? Who is winning? Mm -hmm. We are Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And I believe tomorrow there will be Jane, there will be uh, James, there will be John, who will be being asked again, who is James? Who is this? They are Kenyans. They are Kenyans, they are Kenyans who have put themselves there to lead this country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, right. and I believe with the support of the people, and especially when they start uh, to, uh, to, to vote, mm -hmm. 
let them vote with their conscience. Yes. You, you have to co 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 vote with your conscience uh -huh. and say, what kind of leadership do I want for my children and my grandchildren? Uh -huh. Voting for want, yourself. Yes, you vote for yourself yes. with your conscience yes. because in that small little room, and it's in between you and God hey. and your vote. That's true. So whatever you have been talking, you will come there and say, who do I really want to vote mm. for? So let God guide you. Let okay. your faith guide, guide you. you. We, we need to take a break. And uh, this is it. Thank you very much for all the questions coming in. Uh, and I want to appreciate all the pastors, bishops also saying, hey, I know we have a part to play and we need to interrogate these people. More so even from a, uh, from a faith or other Christian point of view and their relationship with God. So go ahead, SMS 2442 as you had. Ronnie, we need our born again Christians. And uh, we'll hope to have the others coming on set too and telling us their relationship with their God. The song is Omwaka Guno, meaning This Is My Year by D'Angelo, who is a Ugandan. Thank you to everyone who's watching us from Uganda and outside of uh, Kenya in East Africa and even beyond. We do appreciate you for joining us. My name is Joyce Omondi and indeed Raoka is having our political edition where today we have two uh, running mates in the com upcoming elections and they are just telling us a little bit about themselves, about their visions and about why you should consider them to be your next vice president but before we get back into the politics we're going to throw it back to njuguna yep and that's the unique thing about this particular interview on rauka is that we get to ask them from a christian uh, uh, platform and also uh, from a faith or a christian perspective and and i have a question for you. you you know what has god done for you that makes it real any miracles testimony something you asked asked of god to do for you uh we need i'll start with you uh during this you know campaign period or even uh, in the you know towards running uh for the as being a running mate, anything that an evident miracle say this happened, then this happened, and I saw God, or I trusted God for this, and this happened. Oh. Two examples. I think I can give 20. Okay, there are it's many. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was just two. Yes. God has been so faithful. What has he done I, in specific? Specifically, when I was uh, named the running, running mate, mate of yes. Lekiapi, mm -hmm. it's like the wound stopped. Yes. The, the the support was so big. Mm -hmm. I think the, the the Facebook, the Twitter, the the you also on Twitter. Oh, everywhere. My Hello? kids were calling me and asking me, <laughs> "What's happening? We are we have become viral." Uh -huh. And I was like, "What's viral?" Uh -huh. <laughs> then they said, "Everywhere is you have been congratulated, mom." The the the, the media was yes. yes, and I was like, "What was all that?" And I think it's favor of God. Amen. That's and one. And it was really a favor. All right. Then the Two. other thing, we have been on the campaign. Yes. Hi, and uh, my um, president, uh -huh. uh, like Yapi, yes. we are very prayerful. Yes. The of Harabike. Yes. We pray for everything. Mm. From morning, when we go out, when we come in, mm. we still give God uh, praises. So. And the other day, what happened is that he said for us, we need then vehicles for campaign. Yes. And we got vehicles. We need then t-shirts. And I'm telling you, we didn't pay a cent. People gave. And people gave. People wow. were attached. No strings attached. Nothing. They just said, we want this to work. Mm. And wow. because it's a vision you have, we're in that vision. All right. Where God guides, he provides. He R provides. Ronnie, yeah. two testimonies where you've seen, yeah, God, this is nothing but God. Not connections. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think for me the, the the most important thing and you know just like Winnie this was the first time we we're getting into politics yes. at a very high level mm. yes at a national level mm -hmm. uh, and there were the concerns the anxieties mm. you know uh, the reassurances that uh, you require and for me I think it's the peace mm. that came upon me mm. even before I was named actually yes this was when we were still having that conversation yes and for me that is precisely what made me know and understand mm. that I am doing the right thing yes mm -hmm. because I got a certain peace mm. uh, I got f full support from my family my yes. wife mm -hmm. um, Hadassah is still trying to <laughs> grapple with yes. uh, mm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and and you know I mean it was just that calm that mm. peace that, that peace unexplainable peace unexplainable peace. testimony number two i think provision mm. this mm. campaign is requires a lot mm. of mm. but you see people Telling are saying me. pk has money so <laughs> 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 
helicopter ni everyone ni, thinks wow. it's like yeah. you know so, very he's balling a, a particular <laughs> is there a particular <laughs> scenario yeah. where you seen god provide like yep. i mean they were needing cars and t-shirts yeah. mm-hmm. and people gave mm. for you where god came through for you absolutely mm-hmm. and every single day we are getting uh, uh, donors calling in and saying i want to do something i will send something no strings attached no strings attached as okay. as little as 50 shillings mm-hmm. 100 bob 1000 bob and people are just flowing in we have had and they think we have the biggest asset mm-hmm. our biggest asset today that i i don't know any other campaign can be able to marshal whitney will tell us <laughs> is our volunteer base mm. we have a volunteer base of 58000 wow across the country, the country mm-hmm. who are saying I thought mm-hmm. ours was bigger. Well, I've just <laughs> shocked you, right? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not shocked. I'm, I, I just thought ours was bigger. Yeah. Because when you say 58, and I can tell you, us, we don't pay anybody. Yeah. Everybody is on volunteer basis, and it's the youth. Exactly. That, actually, that's what attracted me in okay. Africa the first time. So 58,000 <laughs> volunteers. 58, that's a te- te- and growing every day. And, and growing. that, for me, that's a testimony, mm. because that's, uh, that's our biggest asset okay mm. it is much more than any amount of money mm. any candidate will match all right all right uh, uh mrs winnie kaburu kinua mm. uh let me ask you some questions mm. now um you are the only female presidential running mate um why do you believe that this is your time i believe this is god's time to choose a woman to lead this country why because when you look at uh, the structure of our families, and especially the Kenyan woman, she's a very want working woman. Mm-hmm. From the girl child to the, w- the old women in the village. I am in business, and actually in the SMEs. So I understand where these women come from, mm-hmm. what they do, mm-hmm. how hard they work to support their families, to support their children, to support themselves, to support this economy. SMEs actually is the backbone of this economy. You believe it or not, I can tell you, if women today decide that they are not working, most of you guys will go hungry. Mm-hmm. So I believe it's time for a woman to be given a chance by God Almighty to lead this country, mm-hmm. to make the world realize that the Kenyan woman is a hardworking woman. She has good, good leadership skills. She has good... Uh, budgetary skills, mm-hmm. you know, whatever it takes to run that home, she can enlarge it to run this mm-hmm. country. Okay, so I'm going to mm-hmm. ask you a question yeah. then. Given what you said about women and leadership, mm-hmm. um, why then d- or would you give Martha Karua then your vote because she's also a woman and she's going for the, the top seat then? If uh, Ola Kiap was not running, I've said this many times, my next choice would have been Martha Karua. Okay. Yeah. All right, then, then followed by Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> good, good question. I mean, she, she, she brings oh. up, just, just to interject, Joyce, mm. if you don't mind. If Peter Kenneth wasn't running, who would you vote for? Martha. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We right agree on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ronnie, mm. uh, you're only 33 years old. Mm. I'm saying only like as if I'm around there, but still. Uh, that is very young. I think you are the youngest of all of the presidential candidates and the running meets mm. as well. Mm. Why is it your time then as a young person? And, and what would you say about that in reflection to the youth of this country? Given that, as we've heard over and over again, our median age is 18, half of our population is under the age of 30. Mm. Why is it your time and the time for the youth right now? Well, first and foremost, I, I don't support the digital and analog uh, <laughs> conversation going mm-hmm. on across mm-hmm. the country. I think it's misplaced mm-hmm. if it is uh, not founded on responding to the needs um, of this country mm-hmm. and to the people of Kenya. But that aside, mm-hmm. um, I think young people, like you've rightfully said, form a majority of this country. So this country is generally, mm-hmm. largely, a young nation. Mm -hmm. Uh, The median age is anything between 18 and 22. Um, Anyone you see on the streets is likely to be between the age of 18 and 22. Mm -hmm. And that's a scary thought. Um, But but also gives me hope Mm -hmm. that the bulk of the resources of this nation are in their age between 18 and 22. Mm -hmm. These are guys who are growing. These are people who require hope. These are people who are trying to find their place in this nation, in the world. 
they're trying to define themselves and they're trying to say is there hope for us now what bad leadership does is that it sets a bad example mm -hmm. it tells them that you know there are easy way there's there's an easy way out mm -hmm. in life mm -hmm. that uh, impunity is fine mm -hmm. that corruption pays um, that there is a uh, value in not working hard mm -hmm. and not working smart mm -hmm. now what we want to do and I think this is the hope that the Eagle Coalition is bringing by Peter Kenneth naming me as the running mate mm -hmm. is that young people can grow from nothing to something. Mm -hmm. That if you look at where we are coming from, you know, whether you have been born and bred uh, in the Bundus, in Shags, uh, whether you've uh, been brought and bred in the Mitani, mm -hmm. um, the, the, the point is for as long as you stay focused, for as long as you embrace values, for as long as you have a clear vision of where you want to go, anything is possible. Mm. That it is possible to become something mm. in this country. That it is possible to make a significant contribution to our nation, uh, whether it is in economic development or other areas of nation building. Mm. And that is the hope that I would like to bring. Okay. To this, to this nation. Now, and uh, just as we go on, just to encourage you, one of the things that people are SMSing enjoy saying they like the interview. You're not going at each other. You're, you know, uh, complimenting each other, yes. which is maturity instead mm -hmm. of going at each other. And we thank God for that. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is the question. new school politics. This is the new school <laughs> yeah. politics, and also even more so because you're Christians. I like yes. that. Now, you know, mm -hmm. you're just urging each other as much as you're mm -hmm. different parties and different. Uh,